everyone. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm Priscilla. I'm the owner of A Life Full of Simplicity. So today I'll be showing off the goodies that were sent to me for the purposes of, re of review from David and Charles. I'm really excited uh, and I do want to note that I am still kind of sick so apologies if I sniffle and things like that. Congestion is rough so yes but um, they did send me a bunch of goodies uh, to show on my channel and to review on my channel so I'm really excited. Now they do have so it looks like from their catalog anyway that they do a lot of books on like knitting and crocheting and a lot of fun like activities kind of like art they have like glass uh making art and things like that books on the, those kind of subjects and they have a lot of stuff and I know there's quite a number of people that subscribe to me that have that like to knit and crochet so I highly recommend checking out their catalog if you're interested in titles that have to do with knitting and crocheting because they have so many of them um, which were in really interesting, but they do have things that I'm going to show here that are more in the richy, witchy realm, spiritual realm, and things like that. And I'm really excited for that, uh, to show all of these things on my channel. Now, if you hadn't already seen, I did show or unbox the Mood Crystals deck on my channel, which I bought myself. I actually bought it in January, I think is when I bought it and it was on sale and I bought it and it, I actually really like it and I've been using it and it's very interesting. Um, so they did send me the other two decks that they have in their collection plus the book that goes with the Mood Crystals deck and then a bunch of other books which I will show here in a minute. So I'm really excited to see what these two decks specifically have to offer. Um, because this one has to do with the Wheel of the Year, which I love. Not that I follow the Wheel of the Year closely, but I do love seasonal energies. I do love the Wheel of the Year. So I'm really interested and I really love this box. So nice. I'm interested to see what these have to offer. So we'll go into all the books and things in a moment here, but I will leave a link down below to their website if you would like to check out um, what they offer and things like that, especially if people are interested in the knitting, crocheting kind of, kind of stuff. They are based in the UK, uh, but any title that you find, I'm sure you can find anywhere books are sold in your specific country. So just to let you know uh, that that's available. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go into everything one by one. So let's get started here with the Witch's Year. Now they have a deck uh, which is uh, Modern Magic in 52 Cards. This is by Claire uh, Gogurdy. Apologies if I mispronounce any of the surnames or names. And they also have a book that you can get as well. It's the Witch's Yearbook. This is Spells, Stones, Tools, and Rituals for a Year of Modern Magic, which is super interesting. So uh, let's go ahead and open this up. So it doesn't come shrink wrapped, it just has like these uh, stickers here. Just want to make sure that nothing rips. Okay, that's good. And at least it's not sticky, which is nice. Sometimes these things leave um, some stickiness. So. Okay. That's good. Now I will, I'm not going to unbox this fully uh, here and like do a full, full flip through. I will have a separate video going more in depth in, in regard to this. There is a foiling um, on the cover, which is really nice on the sides too. <clears throat> oh, so this is the back. So in the back here, it says a uh, year long magical adventure to enrich and enhance, uh, enchant rather your life uh, based on the cycles of nature and the seasons. This card deck will give you the tools and knowledge you need to unveil the magic that surrounds you and activate your hidden power. It says to learn, learn how to tap into the healing power of plants, pull of the moon, the wisdom of the trees and the spiritual rewards of creativity to enrich your journey and sprinkle magic over your everyday. 
which is really cool. And there's some um, example cards here. So this retails for $14.99 uh, pounds in the UK and then um, $16.99 in the US. I believe, so the Mood Crystals is, I believe, $25.99. So I'm going to assume that they're all $25.99 in Canada. Um, but you should just check that yourself if you're in Canada. If you're somewhere else, then you can definitely check the, the pricing out in your uh, particular country. So it has a lift thing to give height to the cards. I'm going to take this off okay there we go <clears throat> so we seem to have a little book like the mood crystals and then it goes into the different cards so clearly they're all uh, they all have different uh, colors for the different, I'm guessing, seasons. And it seems to tell you what's, what the, which wheel of the year uh, it is here, which is great winter solstice, Imbolc, Starum, Beltane, summer solstice. Uh, Lugnasa and Mabon. Well, that's really interesting. Let's take a look. So uh, Beltane just passed, but let's take a look at the cards for Beltane, at least that much. And then again, you'll have a you'll get a full uh, walkthrough of everything once I um, once I film that. It will be a separate video. So we have. One card for the actual Sabbath. And then we have another card for divination. Oh, that's cool. We have one for tarot. Uh, specific plants. Crystals. A ritual. A fire ritual. And then it goes back to the beginning. So what's here in the back? So it like talks about, I'm assuming it talks about the actual Sabbath itself. Okay, so uh, in the Northern Hemisphere, Beltane falls all around April 31st. And uh, in the Southern Hemisphere, it will be around November 1st. That's so cool. So I love how they include both hemispheres. Very nice, very inclusive in that way. And then this talks about how to make your own rune set. Really cool. Um, this just talks about tarot in general. Would have been nice if it if they included a spread. Um, but I'm wondering if the book itself includes a spread. But it would have been nice if they included a spread on the card instead of just talking about tarot. And then plants. So it talks about like the different plants associated with Beltane. Then crystals. So we have some specific crystals associated with Beltane. And then this is just like a ritual. So I'm assuming it tells you how to do it. Yeah, it tells you how to do it. And then another ritual. This is the last ritual. And again, it tells you how to do it. Okay, so that's interesting um, information. I'm excited to dive deeper into this and look at the rest of the cards and see how they are. But I feel like this would be great for like an altar. Um, like uh, altar cards. I think that would be like really interesting as like altar cards in my opinion. So then we have the book. 
And of course, in the table of contents, they're all split by the different uh, years or different uh, holidays. So, yes. Talks about the wheel of the year. Talks about all the Sabbaths. Working with the elements. And then it gives you things that you would need, I guess. Though I feel like you wouldn't need all of these things, but this is like very, in my opinion, very uh, Wiccan. So, I don't, yeah, I don't think you would need all those things. And then it talks about um, the days of the week, which is great. I, uh, I work with the days of the week uh, in terms of like the planetary. So this is really set up in a Northern Hemisphere way. But if you wanted to use the book in the Southern Hemisphere, you would just ignore... I feel like you would just ignore this specifically. So they talk about tarot cards here. Do they get any spreads or anything like that? Actually, you know what? Let's go to the Beltane. I want to see what they have for that, since that's what I showed. Uh, this is the Spring Equinox. Okay. Beltane. Okay, so they talked about making... Okay, so it's to make your own tarot deck. Okay. So it's to make your own runes and to make your own tarot deck. Well, there is a spread here, the Celtic cross. <laughs> and then it goes right into plants. Oh, okay, so the card was to how to make your own tarot deck. And that it would need to be comprised of these specific things, the major, the minor, things like that. Then again, it would have been nice if they gave like a Beltane spread uh, instead of just like the traditional Celtic cross, in my, in my opinion. Um... I know they're probably just giving this as an example as how to read tarot, but I feel like um, when it comes to like things like this, if you're going to talk about tarot, I feel like it would be great to also include like a spread for that particular Sabbath um, in that regard anyway. So in the back here, because I didn't read the back, it says that uh, a year long magical adventure to enrich and enchant your life. Uh, have you ever looked at a full moon and shivered? Have you ever walked in a forest or sat in a stone circle and felt a deep sense of peace and belonging? Uh, do you wonder if there is more to life than the grind of the everyday? Do you believe in magic? If the answers to any of these is yes, you need witchcraft in your life. Love that. Based on the cycles of nature and the seasons, this book will give you the tools and knowledge you need to unveil the magic that surrounds you and activate your hidden power. Uh, learn how to tap into the healing power of plants, pull of the moon, the wisdom of the ancient trees, the spiritual rewards of creativity to enrich your journey and to sprinkle magic over your every day. So this retails for $14.99 in the UK and $19.99 in the US. I don't know how much this retails for in Canada. I'm going to have to look that up on Amazon. But I haven't looked at this fully. And I will look at it deeper in my individual video. I do like what it's showing so far. Like the different... If we go back to Beltane here. Uh, like it does show some interesting things. It feels like it goes a little bit deeper than what the cards... Uh, are showing and it gives you images of the particular plants um, we have some traditions and customs some rituals and spells they have a simple ritual there they have the love ritual and then they have some other things um, this looks like w what they were saying in regards to like the fire ritual but it looks like it goes into way more detail. So, yeah, the book goes into way more detail. 
Uh, the only thing is that with the tarot, like, it's great to be able to make your own tarot deck. I think that's actually great. You learn better, in my opinion, when it comes to the tarot if you make your own deck. Uh, sometimes, because you're trying to learn the archetypes uh, of the majors and then what's going on in the minors. So I think that's really cool and really interesting. Just wish that they would have given a different spread. Like, one specifically for Beltane or something. Because that would have been really fun, in my opinion. But it looks like they have good information. I'm just going to wait for my um, actual video for this to go deeper into what kind of information they have and things like that. And go deeper into the cards and look at the information that they have uh, in, in this regard. But I am excited because I feel like the cards will be great for like altar work, in my opinion. So really excited about this. Then we have the Plants That Heal collection. So I didn't know, like I knew about the deck, but I didn't know that they had a book that also went with the deck and they ended up sending me this. It was like a really nice surprise because <laughs> I didn't know that they had this also. But the, the book is 100 Plants That Heal and the deck itself is only 50 Plants That Heal. Now I believe that they're both by, well the text is by Gerard... Um, De Bounier, I believe is how you pronounce that. Apologies if I didn't pronounce that correctly. And then Francois uh, Couplin is oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume there. And then we have photos by Pierre Vignet and uh, Delilah Vignet, I believe is how you pronounce that. If not, I apologize greatly. And both of them are well. This one is the illustrated herbarium of medicinal plants, and then. This is just discover uh, medicinal plants. So let's open this. But I'm really excited actually because I saw this on Amazon and I thought that was really cool because it shows you what you can do with like a lot of the parts of the plant, I think, if I'm remembering correctly. So that was really interesting. Uh, so we'll see how the cards are. And I'm wondering, um, since there's only 50 uh, cards in the deck, but there's 100 plants in here, I'm wondering which which plants are, uh, are missing uh, from the deck itself. So in the back here, it says, uh, Discover... 50 common plans for healing and self-care. Uh, learn to recognize these fresh plants with exceptional photographs. Uh, find out about their active components and therapeutic properties. And learn how to prepare safe and effective herbal remedies at home. Uh, start your journey into plant-based well-being with this essential guide to herbalism from a respected ethnobotanist and doctor of Pio, biotherapy. I'm not sure how to pronounce this to be honest. Uh, distilled into 50 cards, so that's really interesting. Again, it's uh, 14.99 in the UK, 16.99 in the US. The deck is should be 25.99 in in Canada, I believe. The book, I don't know how much that is in Canada because I haven't really looked into their books much. So we shall see about that, but. I am excited. The book is gigantic, by the way. I feel like this is like a coffee table kind of book, which very nice indeed. Coffee table books always look amazing. Okay, so what do we have here? So we have the little little book. Again, I'll go deeper into this once um, we do, once I film an actual uh, video for this particular, but I love the images like they show a lot of the different parts of the plant which is so cool so cool and then we have the backs of the cards which have a bunch of different information so what do we have we have active elements latin information benefits and methods is what's on the card Again, this could be like a really nice altar deck as well. I feel like with the decks, like you can use them as altar cards. Now, while they're not traditional oracle per se, I feel like you could work with the plant itself 
and just like learn what it means and and then maybe use it as like a theme or a focus for the month, the week, the day in that regard as well in my opinion. So like it's really interesting. I wonder what kind of information the um the book has okay let me just move this out of the way because i want to see what the book has so the book is gigantic like this is for reference this is my hand and then uh this is what it says in the back um so it says discover 100 common medicinal plants and how to use them for healing self and self-care with this uh, sumptuously illustrated guide uh, thanks to exceptional photographs showing detailed views of all the parts of the fresh plants you will quickly learn to recognize them uh, discover fascinating history uh, active components and therapeutic properties and learn how to pr uh, prepare safe and effective herbal medicines and remedies at home uh, this journey into plant-based well-being is guided by a respected ethnobotanist and again doctor i don't know how to pronounce that meaning you can grow your knowledge uh, with this natural science uh, with complete confidence of this natural science with complete confidence uh, whether you are a nature lover a green witch or herbalist this magnificent book will satisfy all your curiosities and healing plants become an essential guide for herbalism so yes, as I said, this book is gigantic. It really feels like a coffee table book. Like, it's really stunning. So we have a table of contents with all of the, the plants. So there's a hundred of them. They're in alphabetical order. We have like an introduction. I can barely get all of this into frame because this book is gigantic, but... And then it pretty much does the same thing as the deck, but you have one full photo of the, the, the part of the plants. And then you have like information over here, which is really cool. So it seems to be one page with information. We have like a description. Um... So we have some active elements, what family it's from, the Latin, um, we have like a softener that you can make, I guess, other uses, did you know, a description, method of use, so internal and external, oh look, almond milk, that's cool, main benefits, and parts used interesting and then we have a toxicity thing um, in the middle so that's really cool this book is gorgeous honestly so this definitely has extra than the the deck itself which is interesting I feel like the deck is more on the go and then this is if you really want to sit down and like read this is more for at home use honestly this could be look great in anyone's living room <laughs> just for a book to for people to look at if they just want to look at like plants it's so nice there's like foiling on the plants and heel so it's a very very nice hardcover very lovely how much is this i don't even know it's um retails for 19.99 in the uk 24.99 in the u.s I'm going to assume this is over 30 bucks, probably, in Canada. Maybe 35 or something like that. <clears throat> so, yeah, I, I'm excited to dive deeper into this and figure out how I would want to use this in my personal practice with um, more as an oracle and really, like, look into it and things like that. But if you are someone who likes plants, like, just is, like, a likes to work with plants like green witch as they said in the back of the book um herbalist someone who wants to do some green witchery or like 
uh, just get more into plants and learn more about plants. I feel like this is a great combination. Um, and a great thing to have. I feel like the... I just want to see the top card. So the top card is the almond one. So yeah, it doesn't give you everything that the particular text in the book gives you. But... Um, this is great if you're like doing something on the go. Because this would be very heavy to lug around with you if you were going somewhere and wanted to do something with plants. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to think about it. And then when I do my individual video, I'll know maybe a little bit more. Because I want to think about things first and see how like... I would use because it gives you this specifically like I know some of these are written in there but we have some did you know stuff which is interesting this is on the card mm. Yeah, we need to compare and see what's on the card and what's not. To see if, like, the book is more worth it or, like, the deck's more worth it or, like, do they all both have their own benefits? Which I feel like they both have their own benefits right now because, like, travel-friendly, not-so-travel-friendly tra if you want to travel with a deck or, or something like that. But I'm excited to actually do a comparison and, like, dive deep to dive deeper into it uh in my actual video for uh plants that heal and then we'll see um how i want to use this specifically because i feel like you can use the plant specifically for like a focus and things like that i would just need to see what kind of information is on the card and right now i'm just like quickly looking at the kind of information and not really looking to see if there's anything that could benefit like an oracle meaning um, as such. So yeah, that, so that's the plants that heal. Great. Really, really interesting. I really love the photography. I do have to say that photography is stunning and I'm really excited to dive deeper into this. And, uh, I want to thank David and Charles for including this book because I actually wasn't expect. I didn't even know that they had a book that went with this deck. I requested the deck for review, but I didn't know that they had this specifically. So that was very nice of them that they included the book as well to show on my channel. So I do want to thank them. Well, I want to thank them for everything that they sent me, but that was really nice that they included this as well. Then we have the art magic, um, how to become an art witch and unlock your creative power. This is by Molly Roberts. Now, um, I will be doing an individual video on this, but I'm going to wait until I receive the deck. Um, I'm supposed to be receiving the deck for review and the deck is only releasing uh, in June, June 27, I believe. So, or June, yeah, June 27, I believe. So, uh, you'll see this in that video uh, once I receive that. But I did want to show, because I did receive this, uh, I wasn't expecting this either. This was another book that they included in the box uh, that I didn't request. But I'm super excited that they included it because of the deck that's coming uh, that's coming out. Um, I love art and I love being creative and things like that. So I'm really excited for this, to go through this because I, I went like this through it and I was just like, Ooh, it has like so many fun things, fun activities. So I'm excited. Like this is like ooh, so exciting to, to look through. But uh, here in the back it says, are you ready to awaken the art witch within you? It's time. <laughs> uh, you may not know it yet, uh, but you are a crafty enchanter. Born with the ability to create beauty, read secret languages, heal the heart, and attract the attention of the strange and wonderful. 
there is a buzzing creative power calling from within you, ready to be heard. This inspirational grimoire invites you to the shimmering crossroads of the imagination where art and magic meet. Uh, discover the basics of art magic, what it can be, how to enrich your life with it, how to cast pot potent spells for yourself, loved ones, and community, and enjoy the en energizing thrill of a creative magical practice to call your own. And then it gives you different things that you'll learn. Uh, it retails for $15.99 in the UK, $22.99 in the US. So don't know how much this is in Canada, but yes. I am excited. We have here, we have an introduction, and then we have some projects that you can do. So this is really interesting because they have some really interesting projects. I One that really caught my eye was I think the scrying mirror but also which one is this one this one here also caught my eye that was on the back it looks like a book but I don't know what exactly there's also charming charm beads I'm really excited I don't know there's so many fun things Like, look at this. Game Changer Globes. It's so cool. I love the photography in the, like, whoever is doing the photography for their books, like, chef's kiss. Like, wow, I love it. They're so nice. Like, look at this. Oh, my God, it's so pretty. That's cool. That's cool, too. Oh, it's this one. Scruffy Sketch Grimoire. Yeah, this is nice. Look at that. That's so cool. Oh, and it gives you step-by-step -step instructions of how to make things. This is so fun. This is really nice. I'm like, <laughs> wow. Like, look at that. There's, like, a key in there. Uh, but the photography, this is so nice. Like, wow. This is so cool. It tells you what you'll what you'll need and then gives you like step and step by step instructions. Which wow. Yeah, I'm really excited about this. I'm excited to see the deck and what the deck has to offer. Um, because I know that will also be exciting. So yeah, stay tuned for that. This won't come until I receive the deck, which will, well, it's supposed to release June, I'm pretty sure June 27. Yeah, I think June 27 is when it releases. I don't know um, when I will receive the the copy exactly, but whenever I do, the, the book will uh, be in that video as well. So I'll go more in depth, talk about like the table contents and things like that. So You'll see this again, but not for a little while. Then we have the Listen to the Universe. Uh, this is a beginner's guide to synchronicity. This is by Anne-Sophie Casper. And I was actually really surprised. So again, there were some things that I knew were going to be in the box that I was going to be receiving. Those are things that I actually requested for review. And then there was other things that were included in the box that I didn't know were going to be coming. And this was another one of them. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm actually super happy that they included this. So the author is actually from Montreal, which is really interesting because I'm also from Montreal. That's where I live. So I'm really excited to get into it into this uh specifically because she's from montreal and who doesn't love reading uh, from authors where you're from right i think that's always cool. so we have here in the back enhance your life with the unlimited power of synchronicity have you ever found yourself puzzling over a problem or searching for the answer uh to an important question and suddenly suddenly find the solution just appears Perhaps in the title of a book, or a fragment of overheard conversation, or a song playing on the radio. 
If so, then you have already experienced the incredible power of synchronicity. In this fascinating book, learn to decipher the messages the universe is sending us every day and how to use the unique power of synchronicity to live an empowered life. That sounds really interesting. Honestly, very interesting. This retails for $14.99 in the UK, $19.99 in the US. So let's take a look at the table of contents. Lots of information in the table of contents, it looks like. So we have like an introduction, seven examples of synchronicity. Interesting. Ooh, we have some uh, Carl Jung. Love that. Then we have understanding synchronicity. A day living in synchronicity. That's really cool. So it gives you literally. So we have the morning, we have the lunchtime, we have tea time, we have the evening, <laughs> tea time. It's interesting. Oh, and the night. And then further information, conclusion. That's so cool. Oh, I love this. It's really interesting. Oh, Carl Jung. And I'm actually really excited to read this. That is stunning. Like, wow. Again, the photography is on point. <laughs> like, the aesthetic with, like, the photography is really nice. Like, look at that. Oh, I love photography, sorry. I am obsessed with photography. I, I really do love photography. So when I see, like, stunning photography in books, I'm just like, oh, chef's kiss, literal chef's kiss. And they do it well. They do the photography well. I've never, I've never seen books with such fantastic photography in them. Um... Because typically the books that I have, it's actual art. Like, it's, it's like, drawn art in it and whatnot. It's not, like, f f actual photography. So I, they did a great job with the photography, in my, in my opinion, so far. So uh, really excited to read this. Uh, this looks like a really quick read. There's only how much actual pages of reading. Okay, conclusion. 117 pages, so I feel like I'd finish this really quickly. So I might start this, actually, because this seems really interesting. And then I'll probably do a review after I finish um, reading it. Um, so there might be another video for this specifically of me actually reviewing it um, after I've read it, though. So I might pick this up and read this. But I'm really excited, especially because she's from Montreal and... Oh, I love, I love it when there's creators from Montreal. Because I don't really know that many. Uh, I don't know that many creators specifically from, from Montreal. From Canada, I know quite a few. But specifically from Montreal, I don't know that many. I only know a couple. So that's really, really awesome. I'm super excited to read this. Then we have the Mood Crystals book. So this is a hands-on guide to managing your emotional well-being with crystals. Uh, this is by Christelle uh, Alvarez and Narissa Alberts. I'm excited. Uh, so I did unbox the Mood Crystals deck on my channel. It'll be linked above. So you can definitely check that out. I... I saw this on Amazon way after. I think it was recommended to me by Amazon after I had gotten the deck. Um, and I really like the deck. So I've been using the deck, but I've been using it for Oracle purposes, not um, not as like a crystal guide or anything like that. I've been using it as an actual Oracle, which I really like and has been working really well for me. So I think I am going to do a separate video actually comparing the two information-wise. But just right now, I just wanted to show, look at the stunning... Photography. Anyway, I just wanted to show table of contents. So it gives you, what does it give you? It gives you, so it gives you the four uh, suits that are in the 
deck itself from what I can see here. We have some exercises that you can use to connect with stones. Very nice. I really like that. And then we have like an introduction and things like that. So we have some interesting, very interesting, um, information. Now, is it the same information as, you know, the, the cards themselves or is it more? I don't know. I would have to actually compare and see. But again, I do like the fact that they have some more negative kind of emotions in the in the book so they're not just positive emotions that they they dealt diving into it's also like negative ones as well or ones that are seen as negative so I do really like that again I love the photography look at that that's so cool so yes I'm really excited to <laughs> to read this also I love crystal books I have several crystal books uh this one obviously does something different because it's based on emotions which I actually really love that uh as someone who has studied psychology and social service emotions play a big part in like your everyday and your uh psychological state of mind and things like that so I really love that and again like I said in my moon crystals if you don't have crystals, like physical crystals, this is a great way to work with crystal oracle decks. So pairing this with uh, that deck, if you wanted to use the deck specifically, and then another oracle that's literally crystal based, I think it's like the perfect combination in my opinion. So I'm excited to dive deeper into that. Stay tuned for a video of me actually um, doing some comparisons, talking about the book some more and things like that that will be I will film that um soon as soon as I can because I do have other things that I need to film first but really excited for this I might actually read this first and then film that video yeah I think I might do that I might read this first and then film that video that way at least I know what I'm talking about a little bit more in that regard second to last item so excited so this book came out um, actually uh, this month, no, March, April, when did this book come out? Let me see. I know I talked about it in my upcoming releases. I think it came out in, oh, is there no, oh, is there no copyright page? Usually there's a copyright page, I guess not, maybe in the back. Here we go came out this year doesn't say a month it was either in March or in, or April's uh upcoming releases one of those I know I talked about it though and I was super excited because I love spread books anything tarot spreads I love tarot spreads I love tarot spread books so I'm super excited. Uh, it is the Tarot Spreads yearbook. This is by Chelsea Pippin Miza and illustrated by Kara Hudson. I do follow the creator, so the author specifically on Instagram, so I am excited about this uh, to look at this even deeper. So it's 52 Tarot Spreads for, get for getting to know yourself, which hell yeah. I love the artwork, so the cover is gorgeous. Uh, there's foiling on the cover, so all the details around are foiled which beautiful what beautiful and then here too in the back all the all the foiling really nice this is really gorgeous so in the back here it says enhance your life with a tarot spread for every week of the year Oh, every week of the year. Okay, that's interesting. Discover a deeper connection with yourself, your instincts, and the world around you, all through exploring the power of the tarot. Arranged over four seasons of growth, shadow, change, and care, the 52 unique spreads work with any tarot deck and explore all aspects of life, from friendship to family, career to confidence, 
from simple spreads for quick and easy readings to more complex spreads for a deeper dive. The power of tarot as a tool for self-knowledge is laid out in an easy to follow steps. Perfect for the beginner just getting to know the deck and the more experienced reader looking to find new ways to engage with your cards. The Tarot Spreads Yearbook shows you how to make tarot a must-have tool on your journey through life. Absolutely love that. I have over, I think I have over 900 spreads on my phone. So I have spreads like no tomorrow. Everyone who asks for a spread, I usually have it. I know how to find it and I find all kinds of spreads and I share them all. So I love spreads. I have so many spread books because I love them. I love spreads so much. So I'm really excited to dive deep into this and actually do the spreads. The artwork is absolutely fantastic. Who's the artist again? Kara Hudson. Beautiful job, Kara. Wow. I am like in love with this art style. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So we have the table of contents here. So it goes through season of growth, season of shadow, change, and care. So very interesting. So we have a year in tarot. How to use the book. We have a glossary and we have a sample reading. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's nice. Is this an actual deck? Like, is this a real deck? Or is this, is this just art for the book? Because, okay. So if this is not an actual deck, uh, so David and Charles, you should make this into a deck. You should hire these two people <laughs> and make this into an actual deck because, wow, I love this. Now, if this is an actual deck, please let me know in the comments what deck this is because... It is stunning. The artwork is stunning. I really love it. This is obviously the Knight of Pentacles. Kind of reminds me of the Morgan Greer tarot, but I, I know this is not Morgan Greer because I know what the Morgan Greer tarot looks like. And their fool card just looks like an actual fool card. And this is interesting with the girl with the fox. So I am interested in knowing what deck this is. And if it's not a deck, I'm interested in them making it into one. <laughs> But I really love the art. It's so nice. And I'm excited to really dive deeper into this. I feel like we have some interesting spreads, confidence, change in tarot. Like, I love this so much. We have, like, some romance spreads. Conflict, cycles of change. Oh, we have another one. I'm assuming that's death. Very nice death card, I have to say. Yeah, I love this so much. I'm excited to do this. Maybe, maybe I can do, maybe I can do one from the, from the spread. I'll decide like when I want to start, when I want to start, because this is like, a, supposed to be a year, right? Is this supposed to be done like in a specific specific time like is this supposed to be a represent a specific season growth hmm. I feel like that would be spring but then the next one is shadow and then the season of shadow interesting sometimes people do uh, shadow work in the summer season of change yeah, no, that makes sense, actually. That makes sense. So, like, spring, summer, autumn, winter is what I'm getting from, from, from this. But maybe I won't do that specifically because spring, summer is almost here. So maybe I'll start with the season of shadow. And maybe I'll do one of the spreads on camera. I think that would be fun, actually. Uh, definitely follow her, uh, follow, um, Chelsea Pippen on, on Instagram. Cause she puts up spreads on her Instagram as well. So yes, highly recommend because this looks great. Like they did a fantastic job. I have to say, I'm really excited for this. Honestly, really excited for this. And as I said a million times, I love spread books. So yes, this I recommend. I don't even need to read it. 
I recommend this automatically because this looks fantastic. Actually fantastic. But yes, I might do a spread on camera maybe maybe in July or something. Um, but I'm excited to, to dive deep into this for myself specifically and look at the spreads in more depth. I'm not going to show all the spreads on camera um, to keep some stuff specifically for the book, but I might do one of them on camera. I think that would be fun in my opinion. Okay, last book. Now, this was very interesting. <laughs> so this was also put into the box. I had no idea that this was uh, this was going to be given to me. It's called Utopian Utopianism. Very hard word to say. <laughs> For a dying planet, life after consumerism. This is by Ju uh, Gregory uh, Clays. I believe is how you pronounce that. Apologies again if I did not pronounce that correctly. Um. There's been a lot of talk, obviously, in our community about consumerism and fiscal responsibility and things like that. So I am I'm really interested to read this. It was I was just I was at the bottom of the box and I was like, what's this? This is interesting. And I was like, OK, that sounds really cool. So I'm excited to read this. This is what it says in the back. I have no idea how much this is, to be honest. It doesn't even have a price on it. Is there a price somewhere? No, there's no price. There's no price on this, so I have no idea um, how much this is. So this is just the, the simple, it's just a simple... Underneath is just really simple. Just feels like a, like a kind of cloth. It's interesting. <clears throat> but I am excited to see. Um, let me see how much this is in Canada. Okay, so I found the price. So in the U.S. it retails for $39.95 and in Canada it retails for $50. Um... And on their website in the UK, <clears throat> uh, let me see here. Do we have a search feature? Uh, What is this utopianism? It's thirty-five. Yeah, it's thirty-five in the UK. So yeah, this is this book is pretty pricey, but I'm not surprised because it's a hardcover and hardcovers are usually pretty expensive. And um, this is how many pages? Some blank pages at the back. Uh, 584, including the index, but actual text. Wow, there's like a steep bibliography back there. So text itself, there's 516 pages, and then it goes into the bibliography of work cited, which, ooh, there's a lot of things going on here. And then this is pretty much a textbook, in my opinion. Uh, it is printed by Princeton Press, it seems like. So that, to me, just looks like it's going to be like a university-level read, <laughs> which I'm kind of used to. I have many university books on my on my bookshelves because I've been to university I have a degree I have a bachelor's degree so I'm not really surprised but this goes into just want to get the 
information here. So it says, in the face of Earth's environmental breakdown, it is clear that technological innovation alone won't save our planet. A more radical approach is required. One that involves profound changes in individual and collective behavior. Uh, Utopianism for a dying planet examines the ways the expansive history of utopian thought from its origins in ancient Sparta and the ideas of the golden age through today's thinkers can offer moral and imaginative, man, imaginative rather, <laughs> I swear I can speak, uh, guidance in the face of a uh, catastrophe. Uh, the utopian tradition, which has been critical of cons- consumptuous consumption and luxurious indulgence might light a path to a society that emphasizes equality, sociability, and sustainability. Gregory Clays unfolds his argument through a wide-ranging consideration of utopian literature, social theory, social theory, I studied, I studied that actually in sociology, and intentional communities, he uh, defends a realist definition of utopia, focusing on ideas of sociability and belonging as central to utopian narratives. Uh, He surveys the development of these themes during the 18th and 19th centuries before examining 20th and 21st century debates um, about alternatives to consumerism. Interesting, okay. Clay's contains uh, that the current global warming limit of 1.5 Celsius, 2.7 Fahrenheit, will result in cataclysmal if there is no further reduction in the cap. In response, he offers a radical Green New Deal program which combines ideas from the theory of sociability with proposals to withdraw from fossil fuels and cease reliance on uh, unsustainable commodities. Okay, that's interesting. An urgent and comprehensive search for antidotes to our planet's destruction. Utopianism for a dying planet asks for a revival of utopian ideas, not as an escape from reality, but as a powerful means of changing it. Very interesting. I'm, I don't know. I'm interested in reading this. It was randomly put in the box. Um, I'm assuming because this is maybe a new title or I don't even know when this released actually. When did this release? Does it say? Yeah, Princeton University Press. This is where it's from. Uh, It was released last year. Which technically wasn't that long ago, so it must have been a sort of new new release, in my opinion. But it sounds interesting, especially with what's going on and the topics of conversation that are going is going on right now in regards to consumerism and like the terror community and whatnot. This is gonna be an interesting read because it obviously has nothing to do with the tarot community has to do with consumerism in regards to like uh, global warming and whatnot. Uh, so, but I'm excited to read this. I will film a review for it once I read it. When I will read this, I have no idea because I'm reading a few other things at the moment, but I will probably start it at some point. It's very dense. There's like over 500 pages. So it's probably going to take me a while to read this, honestly. But let's go through the table of contents. Because I didn't even do that. I'm just reading things. but So we have like part one. Which is interesting. And then. Oh look we have some. Ancient history. And then like Christian paradise. Interesting. Then we have some things about fiction. Karl Marx. Not really surprised. Uh, 
Oh, here, Counterculture and Consumerism, the 1960s. Interesting. Hmm. <laughs> no more billionaires. The rationale for equality. Neighborhood model. Pitfalls and paradoxes. Afterward, COVID-19 and social ability. Interesting. Yeah, this is definitely going to be interesting, I think. Um, on reading this. Obviously, you can clearly see that it is very much like a textbook. There's a lot of footnotes. So, yeah, this is going to be a dense read. Very dense. Very uh, university level, in my opinion. Very university level. But if anyone's interested, because uh, they like books like this, check it out. I don't know. Maybe your library has it. Um, you can uh, check it out from them. If not, you can always go to a bookstore and check it out. There's also uh, ebooks, for example. I wonder if it's an audio book already, because that would be interesting. Let me let me see. Actually, no, it might not be an audiobook yet. I don't see anything. I just see actual books or an ebook. No, no audio, no audio options. So maybe not. But definitely ebook options if someone's interested in reading this as well. But I am. Yeah, I'm excited. I don't know. I think it'll be interesting in my opinion. This reminds me of my university days when I did sociology and some of the psychology classes too that I took. Very, uh, very similar in my opinion. So that was everything that I received from uh, David and Charles for a review. I, I do want to again thank them so much for sending me everything here uh, to review on my channel. I'm really excited to dive in. So the decks and the books that go with the decks will have their own video and then I will um, have videos for the mood crystals and the listen to your universe once I've read them uh, and of course the utopianism for dying planet. Obviously once I've read this I will make a video for a review but um, and I might do a little something with this as well. So I'm really excited for everything here. Uh, it looks great. Everything will be linked down below. Uh, I'll probably link the publisher's website because typically for these kind of videos, I link only the publisher website, but you can definitely find anything that's listed here uh, anywhere where books are sold in your country. So definitely uh, check that out. Um, if you did want to buy sh specifically from the publisher, you can do that as well. Uh, if they, if they ship to you specifically, I don't know who, where they ship to because it's, their website is in pounds, but you can definitely check it out. But if you're in North America, you can find everything on Amazon, Chapters Indigo, Barnes and Noble, like, you can find it anywhere where books are sold in North America. So I don't think there should be an issue there specifically, in my opinion. But in the videos where I talk specifically about things, I'll definitely be linking uh, other websites uh, where you can find everything in those particular videos like I usually do. So let me know in the comments below if there's anything here that caught your eye. Um, I'd love to hear what you thought of some of the items in the comments below you know i'm always uh happy to have conversations with people and everything about the different things that i share on the channel so yes let me know in the comments below what you thought and i do thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn on that bell so you can be notified every time i post a brand new video and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as it's greatly appreciated and helps me in the long run Thanks so much, and I hope that you have a great day.